Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We're here on South Cape Beach in Mashpee, where the bones of ancient trees have been on Earth. Find out more next! CapeCast! About a quarter mile to the left from the parking lot here at South Cape Beach in Mashpee, we came along these, I guess you'd call them stumps, but it's more than just being a stump. It's like the remains of an old tree that is still somehow holding on, and it looks like these root things are still in the ground. You can't move that thing. So Chris, something really interesting going on at South Cape Beach in Mashpee. What's happening out there? Okay, what we've had is just sort of a, it's actually a very classic Cape Cod story of lots of erosion. But what we've had over the winter is enough sand was removed from an area of beach that it unearthed what looked like first just a, a bunch of different stumps and roots in the water. And then it became an entire field of well over a hundred of these we've counted. And what it is, is it's an ancient forest, probably a few hundred years old. Um, probably predate settlement based on its its uh, level that's come on earth uh, and uh, basically probably the tides and waves will get rid of it after a while or rebury it but for uh, for a time period it's sort of taken us back in time about 500 years or so it is a research site so we don't want people to run away with these as beautiful as they are as artistic as they are uh, but they uh, we do want to study them a little bit get a little bit better sense of uh, uh, exactly what they are and where they are in time and it'll tell us a little bit about the environment and also tell us a little bit about how fast sea level is also risen. And there's some practical things too involving sort of swimming, maybe boating in the area. These things are right under sort of the water some of the time, maybe a little bit dangerous. Yeah, it's kind of like having, uh, it's kind of like a man, a hidden mangrove swamp. So it, it is a, it is a, a problem and we, that's why we've kind of closed off that area. We have closed off that area for swimming. Uh, until that area gets either buried again um, or just hold off until nature does its work. And what kind of trees are these? We think they're what we call, we, around here we tend to call them cedar trees. Uh, 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 they're all on the outer uh, banks and the beaches, uh, uh, particularly on barrier beaches around here, but they're juniper trees. When these trees were standing and living as real trees, people could have been signing the Magna Carta in England or something like that. Sure, and we would have had, you know, certainly Native American populations would, were quite extensive around here uh, at that time, and uh, uh, probably living and fishing and uh, uh, existing amongst those uh, amongst that forest. 